<laughs> Shauna didn't need a tag. She's, <laughs> she's like, fuck Blake. I'm joining right now. <laughs> yep, I'm here. F you, Blake. <laughs> I got to tag Blake for that one. Oh, 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 what's up, Jam? Wait for a few more people to get in here. Uh, my mama at least setting on me. <laughs> she got her hair on my hair. I look blonde. <laughs> All right, so we only have a few few people. I'm debating on making a deck if that helps. What are you talking about deck? Are you talking about for Elite Four? Oh uh, yeah, for Elite Four. So the Elite Four, kind of what I had in mind, and again, I just wanted to, you know, kind of bring it to you guys, and you guys can let me know what you guys think. Um, but the Elite Four is like the beast, right? The bosses of the Pokemon world, especially if you play the games. The Elite Four, you know, they all strive, all the trainers and gym leaders, they all strive to be part of the Elite Four. So what I was thinking of is an MLE Elite Four uh, to where, and you, you'll have to defend it too. You have to defend it. But let's just say we randomize and we randomly pick four people, right? Just to start the Elite Four. It's just going to be randomized. <clears throat> we'll just use Shauna, Jam. Who else is here? <laughs> Shauna, Jam, Mario, and Blake, right? Those are the Elite Four. I didn't want to use Blake because... Because then Shauna's going to want to battle Blake. <laughs> but, okay, so let's just say those four those four people. Speaking of Blake, me. Okay, so let's just say Ja, Blake, Shauna, and Jam. They're randomly selected, and they become the Elite Four. For sure, I'm not qualified for this. What's up, Anthony? <laughs> hey, we're just creating an idea. We're not. We're not. We're not actually auctioning. Uh, uh, auction, auctioning right now. We're not doing games. I just want to come up with some more fun stuff for you guys. So let's just say those four are the elite four. Okay. So what I was saying is, if you're a part of the elite four. On every stream, you'll get a free entry into one game. So one game a night, you get a free entry or a free spot just for being part of that magnificent MLE Elite Four. Now, how do you lose that Elite Four spot is the question, right? How do you lose it? So let's just say those four people are part of the Elite Four. And someone wants to challenge them. Let's just say Anthony comes in and he wants to challenge Blake for his Elite Four spot. How can he how can he do that? So let's just say Anthony will have to battle Blake, but since Blake has zero costs, Anthony will have to send us 10 bucks. I'll pull two random EXs. Whoever wins that EX battle will win uh the EX. Like let's just say I'm gonna make it simple. I'm gonna make it simple for for explanation wise. Okay, so let's just say random EXs, Blake has Greninja, Zapdos has uh, uh, excuse me, Anthony has Zapdos. 
Greninja knocks out Zapdos. Blake remains in the Elite Four. He can only be challenged once per stream. Now, Anthony paid 10 bucks. Where's that 10 bucks go? Anthony would win the Zapdos card for at least trying to battle Blake. But then Blake, for winning, I'm thinking either gets like one, one, uh, one to two packs for winning that battle. And they can be random packs. Um, let's just say Blake's like, hey, you know what I won? Uh, I want Evo and Primal Clash. So Evo, Primal Clash, and Ash's Greninja will go to Blake for defending that Elite Four spot. Now let's just say Anthony won. Let's reverse it. Anthony won. He becomes the Elite Four member. He wins the Pact and the EX. Blake still wins an EX for free. He had no, no money invested into it. He still gets his EX for defending, even though he lost. And then Anthony would now become the Elite Four member and get a free spot every single stream. You could defend up to, like, four weeks in a row. We could host three times a week, and you get 12 games for free, plus all the packs if you defend it. Those all get sent to the Elite Four absolutely free of charge. There's no investment. The only person that's spending money is the people that are challenging the Elite Four members. What do you guys think? Comments. Comments, questions, concerns. just adds a little bit of excitement, adds some freeness, right? If you're an Elite Four, because people are going to be wanting to challenge those people. Like, shit, I want to be an Elite Four. I want to get free spots. I want to win free packs. Ask Greninja, <laughs> Ask Greninja is OP. If you're looking for a play set, I got him. <laughs> I also have the break card of him, too. But I'm genuinely curious to, to, to know what you guys think. Now, also, you know, Josh said pretty nice. You can't send your own Blake for battle. It will be randomized for my EXs, and you still win that card. Either way, so let's just say you won, Blake, you still get that card no matter what. You you put in no money. Now, the question is, do I limit the amount of people as long as you stay in the same set? No GX racing. Yeah, they would all be EXs. They wouldn't be GXs. They'd all be Xs. But the question is now, do I limit the amount of times you can challenge that Elite Four member? Right? Do I Do I limit it? Do I say, okay, hey. You can only challenge – yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, you can only challenge them once per stream. Like, if I do, like, once per stream, you know, then I was thinking maybe one pack. If I do multiple times per stream, like maybe two or three, I don't know what that limit looks like. If there's four, if there's four elite trainers, like there's four elite four members – I think I almost have to limit it to once a day, uh, once per stream. That's what I was thinking because then someone could try to try to take Blake, you know, Blake's reigns five times in a stream, and then it kind of kills the stream because it's so much. Yeah, stay in the same set, GXs or EXs. It would stay in EXs. So I'm thinking once per stream too. Um, So, so what do you guys think? EX battles once per stream. Um, I, I'm thinking maybe one pack, just because there's gonna be four. Con there's gonna be four elite four members. That's two, four, six, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. That could end up being like twenty-four packs if I do two. If I do one with an EX, then it at least gives me, you know, a little bit to work with throughout the week. Especially sometimes we stream three. I think a couple of weeks ago we went four times in a week. <laughs> so that was one of the ideas, was the Elite Four. So let's take a vote. Who's down? Who's not down? Who has better ideas that we can implement for it? 
or make some adjustments or changes. The thing is, Anthony, is, is let's just say you come on. I hate losing. Let's just say you come on, Anthony, and you want to challenge Blake, but you lose. You can then try to challenge Shauna, too, you know, or Jaw. But, but, but the Elite Four only have to defend their title once per stream. So if Anthony comes in and is like, fuck it, and tries to take on four right away, you know, and, and other people lose, how do you decide who the first four are? I would randomize it. I would take a lot of our, our regular viewers, and then I would just put them in a random randomizer, random.org, and that would be that would select the first four. So we can even say now, like, hey, if you want to be part of the Elite Four, let me know, and I'll put you in a, in a little – in that random.org. I mean, obviously, everyone's going to want to be in it, but the thing is, is – if someone battles you and you're not a rag, no have people challenge for spots. We can do that too. The thing is is what happens if Anthony becomes uh, an elite uh, an elite four, but then it but then misses like four streams. You know what I mean? What happens? That's one of that's one going to be one of the challenges too. Like what if it's someone that becomes an elite four member but isn't a regular on our streams, just comes pops in once a week or once a month? And he's Elite Four. What do I do with that Elite Four trainer spot? Do I remove him? Do I remove that person? If they miss one stream, you can get stripped. That's what I'm saying. Do I strip their title? Like if you miss a stream. You can get stripped. So pull his title. Pull his title virtually. Because we would have to. If, if they're not there enough. Um, what do you mean battle? Ezra, I would randomly take two EXs and have them battle. No, you give them, <laughs> you give them stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's where the, the issue lies. Should be two, two streams. I can't do two streams a day. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. I work, I run multiple different businesses. This is just one of them. <laughs> yeah, you leave four, Ezra. Um, so, I mean, I'm thinking maybe we keep, if they miss one stream, like, like, let's just say Blake becomes an elite four member tonight. He joins the stream. And then the next stream, if you miss two streams, you get sure. That's what I was thinking. Like two streams and they can still even be challenged on those streams. So let's just say Blake's not here tonight, but he is part of the elite four and Anthony comes in. He, Anthony can still challenge Blake without Blake being here because the elite four uh, elite four member doesn't have any money vested into it, but if I agree, so two streams, I do like that. I'm gonna like your comment. So two, should I like the wrong one? So two streams. The the time zone different. I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you're part of the elite four, you're getting free games. <laughs> Like, you can answer, like, I could be running a $25 per spot game. And an Elite Four member is like, hey, I want that $25 spot. They get that spot for free. You get one free game per stream. So you can decide, hey, I want the $10 one. I want the $15 one. It's almost like a credit. Like you're getting a credit for any game, uh, one game per stream. The time zone, that's going to kill me. Shauna, you always hear anyways. No front. This time – the time zone ain't going to kill you. <laughs> it may kill other people, to be honest, but Sean always with us. So <clears throat> sometimes we go early. Ezra, the concept of the Elite Four would be if you're an Elite Four member, you, um, you would get a free spot per stream, and then people can select part of those Elite Four um to say i want to battle them i just want to say hi to everyone my service is bad but i like being noticed what's up rodriguez leave the person there no limit on streams the person paid to be there and they last 100 but that's the thing blake the first four aren't going to pay to get there i was just randomly going to select unless you guys want to pay to get in 
And then we can do like an Elite Four battle, a tournament, if you will, to become the Elite Four. We can do that too. If we originally do that, then they can stay. Because technically they don't, they don't have to be with us to be challenged. And I was kind of explaining it to Ezreal. So Ezreal, so let's just say you're... Yes, everyone pays to play. Okay, so we could do that um, to where there's like kind of like a tournament tonight. There's a tournament tonight. And that will determine who the Elite Four is. And then if you become part of the Elite Four, no free stuff that way. Um, well, the Elite Four will still get free stuff. So if you if you become part of the Elite Four, you're going to get a free spot every stream, no matter what the cost of the game is. And then if you battle, so Ezra was asking how it works. So let's just say Ezra, uh, Blake's part of the Elite Four. You want to become part of the Elite Four. You would send uh, MLE 10 bucks to challenge Blake. I would pull two random EXs. Let's just say uh, Blake pulled out the Ash Greninja. You pulled out Zapdos. Greninja knocked Zapdos out. You wouldn't become the Elite Four. Blake retains his title and wins one to two packs, depending. I got to look at con. But even if it's just one random pack plus the EX and uh, Ezra Zapdos, you know, you lost. You're no longer. You're not part of the Elite Four. Blake retains his title. Now let's just say it's reversed. Let's just say uh, you pull uh, a better card. I don't know. You pull a Steelix EX, right? And Blake battles you, but you knock Blake out. You're part of the Elite Four. You still win this. Blake still wins his Ashes Greninja for not investing any money. And then now Ezreal is able to get a free spot in the streams every single stream. But if Blake retains his title like 10, time, 10 challenges, he's basically, even if I do it one pack, he's winning 10 EXs and 10 packs plus 10 free games for being part of the Elite Four, which is, I think, pretty sick. I mean, he could, he could virtually win 10 packs, 10 EXs, and 10 free spots with investing zero dollars. So maybe do so from what it sounds of it, that's why there should be no limit on streams. <clears throat> so Blake, you want to have it to where people can challenge you five times on a stream. There's got to be some type of limit because then everyone's just going to be battling for that Elite Four and then we're not even going to be able to fucking play games or auction shit. Like there's got to be some limit. I mean, what do you, do you think there should be unlimited, Blake? Is that what you're saying? Like, if someone challenges you five times and so be it, and you just keep soaking in the, the packs if you defend? Oh, are you saying there should be no limit as far as challenges go? Or there should be no limit on... If you miss X amount of streams, it doesn't matter if you miss streams, to be honest. Now that I think about it, because people can still challenge that Elite Four member, regardless of if they're in our in their uh, in the stream or not. If you want to be no limit on challenges, Blake. I mean, what's everyone else think? It's kind of like a vote. Blake says unlimited challenges. Oh, shit. I'm not caught up on the comments. It wasn't moving. No. Oh, my God. Only allowed a few challenges a month. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking one, one challenge per Elite Four per stream. All right, so I'm with Blake. So one challenge, unlimited. You can stay at the Elite Four as long as you stay the Elite Four, whether you're here or not for the streams. One challenge per Elite Four member per stream. So that kind of encourages people to get in the stream early before a game gets played. That way you can challenge that Elite Four member and try to take their Elite Four status for free games on that, on that night's so stream. One challenge per stream with no option to be removed from Elite Four unless beaten. 
one challenge per stream with no option to be removed from Elite Four unless beaten. Okay. I mean, that's what I was kind of thinking. So, uh, Shauna liked that as well. So, I like that. Okay. So, EX Battles, $10 per challenge. Uh, one pack is basically being battled for plus Elite Four status. <laughs> What's that, Journey Love? No, Ezra, one challenge per stream. So if we stream three times a week, people can challenge that Elite Four member three times that week. It's one per stream. So now the question is, Who's the Elite Four member? <laughs> now under the juice. Who becomes the, uh, the initial, the original MLE Pokedan Elite Four? Woo! I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, so that kind of eliminates that. We'll do a tournament um, tonight to determine the first Elite Four. The top four tonight in, in one of our games tonight is going to become the first Elite Four. So do we pay beforehand or after you pick the originals? I challenge Emily as Elite Four. Boss, so I'll be over the floor. What's happening? I want it. What's up? What's up, Mario? So do we pay beforehand or after you pick the original? So Shauna, so what I'm thinking is we run literally a tournament tonight to determine those elite four. Whoever's here tonight, we run that, we run a tournament. Whoever wins will win whatever prize I decide to give out plus elite four status. So the top four will be the elite four, the original starting elite four. And then let's just say if someone wants to challenge after that, technically you could be challenged instantaneously tonight because it's one challenge per night. So Shauna could be part of the Elite Four tonight by winning the tournament. Maybe we host the tournament first. Shauna becomes Elite Four. Mario comes in late and says, hey, I want to challenge Shauna for that Elite Four status. Mario shoots me 10 bucks. Shauna doesn't pay anything. I pull two random EXs. Whoever wins, uh, wins uh, a free pack plus uh, uh, the EX, and then whoever loses obviously still gets the other EX. Susan, that's why I tagged your ass. You coming in late as hell, asking what Elite Four is. Why are we challenging, motherfuckers? <laughs> I'm just playing. Mario just came in, too. So the Elite Four would be, if you're if you're part of the Elite Four, you would get, one free entry into any game of your choice during our stream. So let's just say I run one free entry per night. So virtually what we're doing is giving four free entries to our games to the Elite Four every single every single stream. So let's just say uh, Shauna is part of the Elite Four. I run a $25 game, and she says, I want to use my Elite Four status. She gets a free spot in that $25 game. Now let's just say Mario comes in and says, hey, I want to be part of the Elite Four. But Shauna, Blake, Ja, and Susan are already the Elite Four. I want to take one of their spots. So Mario says, I'm going to challenge Shauna. Mario shoots me 10 bucks. Um, we pull two random EXs. And I'll just do, again, another demonstration. Uh, we pull two random EXs. Uh, let's just say Mario challenged Shauna. Mario pulls a uh, – they'd all be EXs. Uh, but Mario pulls a, a – Hold on. Because they're all, like, lined up. Okay. I'm trying to make it easy as far as number-wise. Okay, so Mario pulls a Kangaskhan, and Shauna pulls a Florgez. Right? Florgez only does 20 damage. Uh, Kangaskhan would do 70. So Mario would now become the Elite Four member. Shauna still gets this for free, because she was already an Elite Four member. Mario gets his Kangaskhan, a pack of his choice. 
and now becomes the Elite Four member and can get free games whenever he wants until he's defeated. Playing COD, killing some props. Don't hate. Mega Stories. Yeah, that Mega Stories would fuck up all the rest of those EXs, that's for sure. I can't, but I'm going to keep it all EXs. Like, if I pull out Megas and GXs versus EXs, then I feel like it's not fair. <laughs> it really isn't. All right, so everyone down for the cause then on the Elite Four. Everyone likes it. Mario, do you understand? Susan, are you done killing noobs? Do you understand? I don't know what killing some props are. I know what noobs are. Call of Duty used to be my shit back in like 05. <laughs> uh, he does not for the PS4. If someone gets a Mega EX, then that's the luck on the draw. No, nah, I'm I'm gonna keep it all EXs just because everyone's been bitching lately about Megas and GXs and my games. I'm gonna keep it fair. I'm gonna keep it fair as fair as all possible. Cause you pull yeah, the fairest of them all. <laughs> you pull out a Mega, like Anthony said, for the auto win. Like you're like, okay, he pulled a Zapdos. Oh shit, Mega Charizard. GG. No point of even watching this. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Susan. GX versus EX sucks ass. Exactly. It's not fair. It's not. It's not fair. So we would keep it all the X's. One pack of your choice on whatever pack we have. Besides vintage, like, you can't ask me, hey, can I get a fucking base set blister that's worth $140 because I won? <laughs> So it's out of the options we have, like Shining Legends, Evolutions, Primal Clash, Faith Group, Breakpoint, Ancient Origins, Burning Shadows, Crimson Invasion, uh, fucking, I don't know, Ultra Prism. Like, we have a million packs. Sweat the auto win pool. That's just wrong, Anthony. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to do a tournament, and it's going to determine who the Elite Four are. Okay, so tonight when we go live, Mama and Mama Lisa's, we're going to create a post on the Pokedon page. Yeah, we're going to create, that's what I'm saying. We're going to create a, po we're going to create a post on the Pokedon page, and if you want to be tagged for the tournament tonight to become part of the Elite Four, let us know. We'll tag you. Dinner is done, so I'm going to go eat. The faster I eat, the faster I can get up here with y'all. Susan's like, we aren't live now. No, Susan, this is a figment of your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Mewtwo use hip hypnosis. Oh, there, you, there she is. What's up, bud? How are you? What's up, Daniel? Yes, we're live now, but I wanted to kick the idea. I wanted to bounce it off. <laughs> Blake said no one's rubber here. I wanted to bounce the idea off of you guys to see what you guys thought. I wanted to get your guys' input. Yeah. Yeah, I care about the community. I want to know what the community thought. Now you know how I feel on a daily basis. <laughs> So, yeah, I just want to get your guys' input. So, again, we're going to eat dinner. We're going to come back live. We're going to create a post real quick before I eat dinner. You want to be a tag. You want to be part of the MLE Elite Four. And then the Elite Four, again, just gets free spots and free shit every time they defend. I'm just saying we are live now, so why live later? Because I have children to feed, Susan. My kids haven't ate. I haven't ate. I worked. Actually, I didn't work that long today. I still put in a good eight and a half hours, but it's not shit compared to last night or yesterday. I worked 11 and a half hours yesterday. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Working 11 and a half hours is not fun. Give them syrup. Mama just made, like, all kinds of bombness, bro. 
Blake, when you come down here, you and Susan come down here, y'all gonna be like, okay, now I know why this motherfucker always eating. Honestly, I'm shocked. Okay, so real talk, I met my mom Ali, and before I was a single single dude, right? Motherfucker would eat like once a day, maybe, and it'd be like a double cheeseburger. That was me. Then I met Mama Ali. Three months later, I'm like plus forty pounds. It's not a bad thing though. It's because she makes bomb ass food. We do not go hungry here, Blake. We do not just give them cereal for dinner. Mama be going ham. We be cooking ribs. We be cooking tostadas, some tacos, some burritos, some carne asada, some fucking Chinese food, some hamburger. Like we be getting down. What would you make, baby? Mama made Brussels sprouts, fried potatoes, broccoli and cheddar chicken. Delicious. John, I'm excited to hear it. He said he's got something funny to tell me. Put it in a trough. Give them a fork. It'll be all right. I'll get on it. I got gummy bears and airhead bites with two Dr. Peppers. That's what I'm saying, Blake. Like, that's the single life. Even though Blake's not single, he on the road. Like, that's how men do. They're like, I got a bag of M&Ms, a bag of hot Cheetos, and a motherfucking iced tea. And that was my dinner. I mean, I'm getting myself to start out as a side piece. I want to hear the funny part when you come back, Bradley. Yes, I do want to hear the funny part, John. Yeah, that's A. That's how I do. I'm like, baby, I made you this delicious ass dinner. I got down. And I open up the oven and it's like Pan Express, a Pan Express box. I'm like, here you go, baby. I slaved over the stove making this shit. <laughs> Susan made water burger our first day. Why you gotta say it like water that, Blake? Like? <laughs> hey, real talk, water burger's fire though. I do, I do like Whataburger. You guys want to see my Mad Molly's dinner? She's like, just take the laptop. No, we're going to end the stream at some point. First we eat, you will think it's funny. She slaved over the driveway for 10 minutes. Okay, we're going to show you Mama and Molly's food. And then I'm going to get the hell off. And then we're going to eat. And then we'll be back. But I want to show you guys Mama Emma Lee's uh, delicious, delicious dinner that she made. There's Journey Love. Hi. There's Nevaeh Emma Lee. And it looks like Nevaeh is watching WWE. Upstairs. Look at a blanket, just chilling. This is a Charmander and Charmillion Charizard blanket. All right, let's see what Mama's prepping up in the cooking. In the cooking, in the kitchen. I hate that it doesn't let me see. Mama Emily got to hear it when you come back. That's where Blake took me on our first date. Didn't even offer to pay? Oh, Pete's Fish and Chips is bomb. I'm getting Taco Bell here in a minute. Hey, nothing wrong with Taco Bell. Although someone was saying Taco Bell's garbage. All right. No, Blake said that Taco Bell's good. I think it was Ezreal or, or Jam that were saying that, uh, that that shit, that Taco Bell's. And they're like, no, only the Baja Blasts are fire from Taco oh, yeah, Bell. Oh, that's Blake's that's Blake's homeboy. That's Blake's homeboy. <laughs> Mama's like, hold on. Let me add my magic to the food. You hear my daughter, she's like, Woo! Roman Brains, John Cena, Seth Rollins. Oh my god. All right, here it is, y'all. Mm -hmm. 
See, y'all want me to stay live when I got that prepped, ready to motherfucking grub. Oh, God. Oh, God, what is going on in my shit? Stop it. Exit. Okay, there we go. See, but it doesn't, my, my comments don't come up. Yeah, WWE. It is. I'm wearing a shirt right now, Roman Reigns. Y'all said it again. <laughs> yeah, WWE is here in Phoenix. Uh, Mario, we're at, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later about some, some stuff. Some stuff. Can't talk about it in front of you. All right, I'm going to eat, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm going to eat. Look at that braided mama's mama's hair. Nevea braided mama. I got no make. I got no makeup on either, baby. They can't see me, John Cena. You want to see me? Hi. Hi. I'm yeah. You have to see me. Your best friend Santa. This is my own. And this is a blue one. Bye. Mm -hmm. Here's my bow. And here's my bait. My bait too. <laughs> That's a lot. All right, y'all. For real, we'll see you when we're done eating. Much love, y'all. <laughs>